Hi, I'm the Moss Man, and today we'll be making a small ter terrarium. To start, you can see that we have a few piles here, in uh, all arranged on their own kind of paper towel. I forgot the word for a second. So, in almost in order, we have the uh, drainage layer, the filter, hardscape, soil, and plants. Joining us today we have Phineas over here and Eugene on this side. So to start we have this lovely container right here. The lid doesn't have a proper seal on it so it won't work to keep the moisture in and what we want to do is create our own mini water cycle and ecosystem within here. So what I've done is I've placed a saran wrap kind of covering on this and then I shoved it in and stuck it down and hopefully this should work all right. It's a temporary thing. We did have some silicone which I tried to use but um, that did not go so well and the silicone didn't end up dry. So uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is taking our rocks here to create the drainage layer. These are pretty porous rocks. Some of them are actually lighter than water, believe it or not. So they'll, they'll be good at retaining water and holding it at the bottom. So, I'm just going to throw some in. So the next thing we have here is this kind of foam mesh type stuff. It um, it's used. This stuff here is used for um, making things grip in cupboards. And there's a video actually, my first video. Uh, I might put that in a card up here or somewhere. I've never done this before. In here somewhere. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like stuff to help things grip in your uh, in your cabinets but what I'm using it for is a filter mesh to keep the soil and charcoal out of this drainage layer. Now I didn't ex exactly explain what the drainage layer does but basically it holds the water underneath um, and allows it to evaporate back up into the system and come down again and evaporate up and come down. And then this filter, of course, keeps the soil from going into here and then messing it all up and just sucking the soil back up and keeping the soil moist all the time. So what I've done is I've taken that sheet of foam stuff, rolled it out, and I would have put this over top and kind of cut a circle that's slightly larger than the size of this. Because too large is okay. These, these, uh, the sides will kind of come up on a lip and hold the soil like that. But too small means that there's gaps in here that the soil can get through. So yeah, I'm just gonna shove that in there and then work it around a little. Yeah, so it's just gonna sit on top of our um, drainage layer like that. Now next we have this wonderful charcoal here, and this also may not be enough. Um, but this charcoal here, this acts to filter the water as it goes through, kind of clean it out and prevent things from rotting and molding in here by cleaning out the water as it goes through. I'm just going to check if the camera's still running. Okay. So now we've got that in place. 
The next step I'm going to do is add in some of this soil. Now this stuff here I mixed in a previous video. This is a little bit of this Promix Tropical Mix, a little bit of sphagnum moss, and some fine fur bark. Now, yeah, now we're going to put these in place, some of these rocks and stuff. At this point it's all decorative and with the soil too, most of this stuff is pretty much, it's up to you kind of what you want to do. And I don't know how this looks, but I can imagine I need a little more. Hmm. Yeah. But that maybe I'll take a look at that from your perspective. So this is what it looks like now that I've added the rocks. Um hopefully this is a little bit clearer footage. Okay, so now that we've added the rocks, we're just gonna add this piece of wood here. A little bit like that. Kind of jutting up, but maybe not too much. Yeah, maybe we'll rest it in with this rock here. Push it down. Okay, that's the hardscape elements. Now, I don't know how well this is showing up on on camera, but hopefully the other shots I take in between will be enough to... So what I have here is, um, I have a nerve plant and a pepperoni. Now, I don't have like the scientific names or anything memorized, um, but I will put them here somewhere or here somewhere, wherever, uh, wherever you can see them. I'm just going to stick these in now, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that looks. For this, I'm going to use this here to help push it in, possibly these small tweezers. I wish I had some larger tweezers. I have some aquarium tweezers coming at some point, but for now, I'm stuck with uh, a pair of like cheap dollar store tweezers. Okay, so it covers up most of the rocks from your perspective. It's a pretty large uh, nerve plant in comparison to the size of everything here, but. We'll do some more adjusting and stuff to it. Now I'm going to put in this peperomia. Kind of in the back. Um, the other problem is before I, I had way too many plants in here. It wasn't a lot, but it was three different plants. I had a, a nerve plant, kind of like this. Um, And I had one fern which I kind of root divided and put in either side, and then another fern which I put over on this side. And yeah, it was just, it was a lot of plant for this little thing. Yeah, it's filling the back area quite a bit.
just need to do a little bit of trimming. Nothing too drastic. Just a couple leaves here and there. And uh, try to make it look a little better, fit the space a little better. After this, as you can see, I have some moss here. This is um, moss just scavenged from the forest, and it's what I threw in the other terrarium. The one before this, so yeah, just stick that down in there. And this is the only thing that didn't die in the other one. <laughs> Touch more, but yeah, I'd say that's looking pretty tidy, pretty well kept. Just needs perhaps a little more moss in the back, but you know, I think what I'll do is I'll spread it out just a little, and then um, I'll let it grow into that area a little more. Same with the, uh, the peperomia back here, it's gonna have a little more space in this direction over here to grow into. Give it a little bit of water. Now normally I wouldn't suggest spraying your plants to water them, but since this is a uh, enclosed system, any water that you put in is going to stay there for until you open it up again basically.
that has been my terrarium build video. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. I know it's been a sort of longer video. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.